Okay, today uh, I we thought of uh, importing the Adventure Works database. So let me just go ahead with the SQL Management Studio. Just connect to this. <clears throat> now, we have the databases. Yeah. We have an option called restore. Click on restore database. I have a backup already in place. Where I can work with. Okay. So database. No backup selected to be restored. I just want to select the like uh, There is a backup file already. Should be a backup file. This is a backup file adventure.bac. I'm not able to see anything. This is under all users, right? So we need to search under that min users. See I think Lenovo? No. What is this? Let me check it out. Example, something like this. I'm going to check something like this. Users admin. Okay. So users uh, admin. So let me do one thing. Okay. What I'm going to do. <clears throat> okay. Control C. I'll add. We have done the download of this Adventure Works OLTP from this 2014.bak version. And now we are trying to restore this backup. So, Studio connect to the target server instance and right click on the databases node, restore database. And then, device ellipses, select the backup devices, click add navigate to the database backup in the file system of the server and then select the backup okay so let us do the same thing right click on the databases and we should see that restore database command okay select device and click the ellipsis now hence we are going ahead select this one and backup media is going to be the file basically which we have already done so far
it's still it's there under users and admin and then in admin desktop oh, why it's not showing it's fine let me just keep this one in admin Why I got it actually you see I need to start I think as an administrator hence I'm not able to see this files actually so let me just close this one let me restart this part okay and this is one of the problems I'm facing recently you right click and run as administrator let us try this time connect right click database reach to a database devices select add and now come down users admin oh my god still it is not showing up it should show right okay otherwise let me keep it in that c drive itself Now I got it. Okay. So it looks like a security problem. Now verify the backup media. So the backup media verified successfully. Okay. Now. We have everything in place. The backup media is also good. Need to check the target location of the node and page. There is a version to place the log files on different drives not required. Initiate the click OK. OK, fine. Then I'm going ahead. So, files, there's no problem. I don't want to replace. OK, this is the stuff. Override the existing database. Preserve the replication settings. Restrict access to restore database. No, not required. Everything is done uh, prompt before restoring each backup. I'm not able to get this. Destination. I've selected something which is not existing. Hence, I'm going to select the test data as a destination. I'm not able to see the uh, button. Okay. Anyhow, that it. I think like it might have. It should be restored actually. Let me check. Cross check it. No, we don't have it actually.
Okay, now we have got the uh, database called Adventure Works in place. You can take a look at this one. We have the should we have in the tables, but it's not showing anything else. Looks like cross many tables, right? Let's go data. let me just refresh this one okay now we have got this one okay guys all of you done so we can try loading this part Use of what, Suresh? SQL database? So SQL server will comes with no data by default. We thought of working along with SQL data base for the Power BI. Okay, so we have a free database called Adventure Works with the SQL. Hence, I tried re restoring that backup file, which is open for everyone in the Microsoft website. Okay. So now we can try get, getting connected with that. SQL Server database. Server. MS SQL Server. Database optional. Oh, let's say okay. Database username, Microsoft account, Windows account is quite fine and connect. I think that I'm on the wrong, wrong indication. My server name is Lenovo iPhone PC basically. So it might be connecting or not, right? It will not connect. I understand. Yes, we were unable to connect to that data source using an, okay, using an encrypted to access data using an encrypted. Okay, done. So we should see that these are the databases with us. You have many database in a wide variety format. Means which indicates like uh, all the column stuff that you can filter and you can add up.
I think this is the same thing. It's not the same thing, right? Just load a lot of data. A lot of data I'm trying to load now. You will be getting a lot of fields over here. So this is all what we have, human resources. The very first thing is going to, okay, each and everything is a one table in kids. Very good, super. A lot of data in front of us. So person, person is going to have a lot of stuff in here. So demographics, um, should be and If you can take a look at this one, it is saying like Arc GIS maps for Power BI. Okay, related to demographics, you should be able to see this. See here, I mean, this is a sample entity that I'm showing you. Okay, we will explore more visualizations tomorrow completely based upon this. See, we have a <clears throat> location where we have selected, which is uh, going to be demographics. Okay, this is a, a one where you can always try adding and removing a field. And if you want to change the color and you can, and if you want to make any sort of filtering out of this you can just make out the filtering okay this is a basic filtering or top n kind of stuff if you wanted to make use of top n based upon something some measurement uh where i don't see any sort of stuff to um, by row id no name style modify date so let me just try earliest top top one but by date it's not so earliest apply filter so you have something like this only one person over there here in this and here one more person Fail to locate 148 features. Okay, so this is not the Google Maps. Okay, this is from ASRI. ASRI. Okay, fine. So we will explore actually this one, this part. These are all we know that how do we check the check out the fields and all and the very first one is the fields and how do you want it to add this one to this fields and filters along with there are different types of filters tomorrow I will just give you the brief about each and every one particular stuff and then we will kickstart all the visualizations okay see you tomorrow and we will be on the visualizations tomorrow completely any questions so far Okay, fine. We'll meet tomorrow. See you.